This is Max Williams with United Real Estate and today we're in Colonial Heights. Today we're going to take a look at a three bedroom, one bath brick ranch. This super cute brick ranch is in the vicinity of Virginia State University and we've got some other starter homes here in the block. Good looking block and uh, what happens uh, in many cases when we're in a, a college town is that smart parents will often buy a home buy a single family home, put Junior in it, and then Junior can have a couple roommates. And those roommates will generally pay for the lion's share or all of the mortgage. When Junior finishes, hopefully it's in four years, but who knows if it's even six years, uh, they can go ahead and hold on to the property or sell it. And typically they will sell it at a profit in most cases. And uh, so it makes real good financial sense, especially when you consider what they would pay in room and board for Junior to share a little 10 foot by 20 foot room with another student. Okay, we can see here in the rear, uh, we've got a, a wide open lot, uh, plenty of possibilities back here. If you wanted to go ahead and have it landscaped, you could of course do so. Uh, there is a brand new deck on the rear. And uh, this is a super cute home you will see inside. We've got loads of character. Uh, they did a lot of nice decorative touches that we typically don't see in homes this size and price range. If you've been watching for the past few weeks, you know you, I, I've been mentioning the upcoming webinar that I'm going to host. And I finally have a date, March 7th at 7 p.m. And we're putting the uh, last details together. We're going to have a lender on board with us, and I'm excited to uh, bring this information to you. If you are a first time buyer, or if you have not bought a home since the Nixon administration, you definitely want to tune in. Things have definitely changed, and it is so easy and inexpensive to get into a home now. Uh, I just really want to share that with you. There is $12,500 available for most first time buyers or 15,000 if you are in certain career fields or if you're even retired from certain career fields, 15K is what you could potentially get as assistance just for being a first time buyer. So uh, when was the last time someone just voluntarily gave you $15,000 to buy something that you wanted to buy anyway? Okay, we can see we've got a great looking exterior here, uh, all brick, we've got these brand new replacement windows here all the way around so we've got a low maintenance exterior notice the soffit that is a vinyl soffit so we don't have wood to need maintenance and to rot over time of course there's nothing like the durability of brick all right let's go on in and see what we have inside in this beautiful home let me just show you there we've got that push button lock so if you ever Forget your key someplace, you don't have to worry. All you have to do is try to remember your combination to get inside. If you forget both, then you're really in trouble. All right, let's see here to the right. We have a coat closet. Notice some of the period hardware that they came in and used in this home. Convenient coat closet right there. Wanted to point out some of this detail. Look at this detail here on this wall next to the dinette. They just did an amazing job. That's something you typically don't see uh, in homes like this. In addition to the crown molding uh, that's in place as well. And then there's even more molding here. Notice we have the LED lights and uh, just a really nice inviting look. The wood floors look absolutely stunning. And we're gonna start here at our bedroom wing. I think we're gonna start here on the left. This home does have new heating and air. We've got that digital thermostat. Today outside, it is in the low 80s. It is March, excuse me, it's February. We're at the end of February. And so um, Mother Nature is clearly having a hot flash today, but I'm definitely enjoying it. Okay, this is going to be bedroom number one. Notice we've got the light gray walls with the white trim, LED lighting in place. And here is our closet. That board there, that's going to be access to the plumbing for the bathroom. And we commonly see that. It's very good to have that there because if any work is needed, it's easy access to the plumbing fixtures. 
Here we have some custom cabinets. These are actually in place of your uh, linen closet. So we got three of them. They are very convenient here to this full bath. Notice on the floor, they've got a really nice high gloss ceramic tile that's in place and it has a wood grain look to what I really like uh, that modern styling. Speaking of the modern styling, our fixtures pick up on the black and white theme. Crown molding in the bathroom. That is definitely not something that you see in this price range. Our ceramic tile goes all the way around. We've got a great looking tub shower area and a nice deep tub. We've got some upscale soap there that will convey as well. All right, let's go through. Notice the light blue. I think that's a nice inviting color here in this bathroom as well. All right, let's take a look at our second bedroom and it's right here to the right. That's going to be a queen size bed that's in place. And uh, this would also be great if there was uh, someone that was an employee, uh, let's say Virginia State or in the Tri-Cities. Uh, we are in the Tri-Cities, so of course Colonial Heights, Petersburg and Hopewell are all here ne next to each other. Uh, so it's a super convenient location. A lot of buyers are opting for this area because it's more affordable than the Metro Richmond area. And we're about 21 miles south of the city of Richmond. So we're not far at all. It's a straight shot down 95 and traffic is usually really good uh, in that part of the highway. So there's typically not a whole lot of delays. Uh, there's definitely no rush hour traffic uh, to speak of. This is gonna be our third and final bedroom. Once again, those floors look absolutely amazing. Our closet is straight ahead. Here recently, there was a reduction in the rate that borrowers pay for mortgage insurance for FHA loans. And basically what that means is that buyers are gonna pay less money for their financing. Uh, this rate reduction or this MIP reduction uh, will take effect for all FHA mortgages. So that's a big plus. Uh, I'm not getting get into the weeds as far as the numbers, but it just means that you're going to save money versus people that bought before the reduction. So that is a, a welcome news to the marketplace. We've got a Samsung uh, stainless appliances here. Really good look. This is going to be a quartz countertop and uh, they just did an absolutely great job here in styling this kitchen. We've got plenty of counter space uh, in this kitchen as well, as well as cabinetry more detail look at that i don't know if i've ever seen crown molding in a kitchen and this type of detail in a house uh, that was about a thousand square feet very unusual i love what they did just because you have a smaller home doesn't mean that they have to skimp on style they did a great job here we've got our nice big stainless refrigerator with ice and water in the door now this is a big refrigerator compared to what we normally see in thousand square foot homes as well. So uh, kudos to the rehabber for giving us a really good floor plan with uh, amazing finishes. This is going to be our powder room slash laundry. We've got connections right there for your washer and dryer. And then uh, if you come in off the back deck and you just gotta go, you can't make it to the hall bath, you got another alternative here uh, before going all the way through the house. And we got a vanity situated right there so this would also be a great place for some additional storage uh, if you wanted to put in a um, few shelves uh, you could do that of course uh, over top of the washer dryer and we've got a brand new deck we saw this here from our walk around back great place to sit out uh, most of this right now is shaded so uh, you could sit on the deck and take advantage of uh, being here uh, in the shade all right, that's gonna do it for this beautiful home. Please be sure to let me know if you would prefer to do an in-person first-time buyer uh, seminar, uh, let me know. And that would be in the Metro Richmond area. I know some people are much better with in-person than they are online. Uh, let me know, let me know either way down in the comment section which you would prefer, online or in-person. I'll probably end up doing both. and. Um, 
we can have a chance to meet face to face. I love to meet people that are viewers and um, see what's on your mind and have a chance to chat with you. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. I can reach on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.